In 2011, then Minister for Health, Christine Ondoa, sacked the National Drug Authority board members and the executive director for recruiting drug inspectors who had no medical background. Ondoa, who now serves as a presidential advisor on health, appointed Dr. Gordon Sematiku as acting director of National Drug Authority and selected an interim board too. But the Utah General's report into mischiefs committed by the National Drug Authority ever since Sematiku took over power in July 2011 revealed that then Minister Christine Ondoa constituted the interim administration in total breach of the NDA Act. How are you executing your work family when you have failed to stop the board which has been declared illegal? Yeah. Honorable Chair, it was dissolved by Honorable Minister in February 2013. Colluding with lawyers to unfairly get money from the organization. This is certainly a possible loophole where money could have been shared between these lawyers, and scrupulous lawyers, and some funny people in the organization. Against this illegality, the National Drug Authority Interim Board and the Acting Executive Director, Dr. Gordon Sematiku, were only supposed to serve six months, but they continued to stay in office, and nothing has been done about their illegal running of NDA. This anomaly has seen the interim board involve itself in fact procurement of two law firms to defend NDA against a legal suit generated by the authority former executive director challenging circumstances under which Minister Ondoa sacked him and his board. Can I ask you something? You are, you are talking about interim board. Interim board. Was there an interim board after the court decision? That's the very reason I'm sure why we have now two cases in the court, because it was on the instruction of the Honorable Minister and the Director General made the appeal. So Mwesiji uh, went ahead and now opened up another case to the Honorable Minister in person. But how much money has NDA lost in courts of law attempting to challenge a suit with no success exhibited? See how much it has cost us? A total of 241 million shillings. Do they call it whooping? Whooping 241 million shillings. The subsequent payments are for the Court of Appeal case. How? Madam, in the instance of the first error that you made as an organization. With no avail to substantive official positions on queries raised by the committee, the committee has summoned then Minister of Health, Christine Ondoa, and the sitting minister, Rakana Rugunda, over the same matter. Timothy Basi, the establishing parliament.